Today we're going to calculate the effective inertia for this uh, lintel design. And it's going to be based on the gross, the cracked, and the moment cracked. And, and we're going to come with an average inertia based on that. Now the, the code gives the equation for I effective, and I'm just going to write it down here. I effective is equal to the cracked moment divided by the moment applied cubed times the uh, I gross, they call it I naught as I gross, plus 1 plus moment cracked over moment applied cubed times I cracked. And that has to be less than I naught. And that's in clause 11432. Uh, uh. So, uh, to get the first, we gotta get the parameters. Uh, so the I naught, let's say, I naught. Well, we already calculated that in tutorial uh, one dot three. Let's put that down. So the cracking moment is uh, or the gross moment I not the I call the I gross here, but it's four point oh two that's the gross. Four point oh two e to the ninth. And then the I cracked, that was just in the previous tutorial. One tutorial one four. One point eight seven times ten to the ninth is the I cracked. And then the uh, moment cracking, uh, again that was tutorial M1.3, 12.1 kilonewton meters was the moment cracking. Now uh, the fourth parameter we need is the applied moment, which is the moment factor, the maximum factored moment, no sorry, the, the maximum moment unfactored. Uh, for the for this uh, lintel, so we have the dead load and the live load, and so we can find a uh, moment just on uh, by taking W L squared over eight. So 12 plus seven is the load in kilonewtons per meter. That's 19 kilonewtons per meter. 12 plus seven kilonewtons times the span 4.8 meters squared over eight. So 19 times 4.8 squared divided by 8. 54.7. And then we can calculate the cracked over applied moment. Cubed is a parameter. So the cracking moment, 12.1 over 54.7 cubed 12.1 cubed 0 0.0108 So now, uh, just a matter of uh, really plugging into this equation to get the I effective. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, I have also the the E of the masonry, which is 850 times F prime M. So we already, we already did that. We calculated 8,500 MPa because F prime M was 10. So, uh, okay, let's calculate the uh, I effective. So this term is point zero one zero eight times I naught four point oh two plus one point one plus this value one point zero one zero eight times I cracked uh, one point eight seven
so we can calculate I effective now. I'll just uh, point zero one zero eight four point zero two eight the ninth plus one point zero one zero eight times one point eight seven e to the ninth. So that comes out to be uh, one point nine three. One point nine three e to the ninth. And uh, we can f go further still and calculate really what EMI effective is. So EMI effective is going to be 8,500 times 1.93 times 10 to the ninth, so 8,500. That's 16.4 e to the 12. Newton millimeters squared. This is Newtons per millimeter squared. This is millimeters to the fourth, so Newton millimeters squared. And uh, we'll just stop right there for today. And in the next uh, tutorial, what I'm going to do is uh, use this EI effective va value to finally calculate what the uh, deflection is in the beam. I'm going to save that to a to a special tutorial uh, because it is. Uh, the, the math is easy, but the uh, the reasoning behind it is a little bit complicated. It deals with um, uh, deflections and and where they occur relative to when you you place uh, your finishes relative to, and we'll we'll get all involved in that uh, in the next tutorial.